All right, so this website is the website that is where we are going to get the information for the benchmarks that we're gonna be hunting. So notice it's geocaching.com. You can look through this if you'd like, and you can see um, what geocaching is all about. But notice that we're at geocaching.com slash mark because that's where all the benchmark information is. All right, and you can see that um, you can do this. This is like people's hobby. They go benchmark hunting or geocaching as a hobby. So this is kind of a cool thing. What I highly suggest, and I'll add this to the hints in the um, activity as well, is that you read through some of these links. You might not want to read through everything here. It's a lot, I know, but honestly, probably the stuff at the top, like what is a benchmark? Why would I want to search for these? What are the different kinds of benchmarks? And obtaining and reading data sheets, these are probably, and then the finding benchmarks, this is probably the most important stuff. You do not have to log them except on my form. If you choose to log, you know, you can just get a free account here. You can log them on this website as well if you'd like, um, but I'm not going to require that you do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to find one. So I'm going to search for 78681, which was my zip code when I lived in Round Rock. And once I put in my zip code, it's going to give me a whole list of all the benchmarks in Round Rock. Now, if it has a smiley face by it, that means, you know, people have found it. These little icons, this little um, exclamation point means it's been found. These little question marks, it's reported missing. So down at the bottom, there's a little legend that tells you the benchmark's not been logged, it may be missing. The little broken benchmark is it's been destroyed or the exclamation point is benchmark found slash recovered. All right, so I'm going to look at this benchmark, the Round Rock, uh, this one has Round Rock WTSEC. So I'm gonna click on this one because I see it's been found and people are smiling about it. So that means, you know, they're happy because they're able to find it. So I'm gonna click on this one and now it's going to give me details for this benchmark. It gives me the exact location. It tells me in Williamson County. Now, in that um, article that we just read, it talked about the original data sheet. So this is not the government website that stores the data sheets. There's a separate website, which it mentioned in that article. But this is a link to the original data sheet. So this is what the original data sheet said. And down at the bottom, it gives you an exact description of what this is. It is a four leg steel tower with circular steel tank covered with aluminum paint and having the name Round Rock painted in black on the, on the tank in large letters. Tower is about 135 feet in height. Tank is located near the center of Round Rock, 350 feet northwest of intersection of US 81 and Farm Road 620. Okay, point intersected ball at apex of tank. Okay, so this, does this tell us when it was established? I feel like it, yes. So it was monumented or established in 1954, this particular ben benchmark. So if I go back to here, I can also scroll down and get the log of all the people who found it. Okay, so just uh, going through here, I can, uh, this person says, found with cat while grabbing donuts before heading home. So this is right near Round Rock Donuts. So if I click here, I can look at, oh, the link is opening. I can look at a photo. This is why you have to be in the photo um, because there it is. Now, don't be stupid like I was. Read the data sheet before you go. When I first looked at this, I'm like, oh, there's a benchmark at the water tower. So I am like got out of my car. I'm looking all around. I was looking for like the little disc. It clearly states on the data sheet, which had I read that more closely, I would have seen. 
that it is at the apex of the tank, AKA the top. So basically there's no mark or anything up there. They're just saying the tippy point of the tank, that's what we're, that's what is the mark and it's at this particular elevation. Oftentimes high points like a church steeple or a water tank are often benchmarks um, because that is a sort of fixed point, a high point of elevation. So this is why, again, you need to be in the picture because there's a lot of people that are posting these pictures, whoops, um, when they find them. Now, you can also certainly um, log, you know, you can create, a, create an account in, this, in the geocaching website and um, log your find. Now, a lot of people have found this one because it tends to be a really, really easy one to find, and that's why you can't use this for your assignment. Okay, that being, sound, that being said, um, if I go back, let me go back to um, the previous page, and I want to go back to sorting by zip code. I can type in other zip codes. So this is my current zip code 78641. And I can look for marks that are all around this particular zip code. And here's one. Again, the smiley face and the exclamation point are good signs for you. And um, it just talks about you know where people have found them. Now, I used to have students go on the website and log these. So I wanted to point out that you may see CEA, Caldwell, McNeil High School, Wendolf, whatever, um, for some of these. Um, so if a student has found it in the past, that's a good sign as well. Be aware, people try to say, oh, there's a post in the ground, that's a survey mark. If it's not clearly labeled as a survey mark, I'm not counting it. Okay, you need to, it needs to be clearly labeled. A lot of the times if there's a post, there will be a sign with it that says this witness post is a survey mark. Um, so there's also other ways to find this. You can use uh, Google Maps, MapQuest or whatever, but you always, always, always want to read the description that is in, uh, this little thing is, you always want to read the description that is in the um, that is in the original data sheet because this description really um, tells you what you're looking for. Otherwise, you could be like me and looking for the completely wrong thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it in terms of you know play with some of these mapping tools. I would really, really, really highly recommend that you go through and read. I mean, these are just little quick articles. Like you could spend, I don't know, not very much time and read a lot of these. Um, they just give you a little bit more information about how to go about searching for be benchmarks and um, how to find